Bloggers Pow! Alrighty, let's have a look at four Dreamcast racing games. So, first off with F355 Challenge, Passion Rosa. Um, yeah, it's like a first party game, but unusual because it was distributed in this country by claim. So, I'm not entirely sure why. Very strange. So we're going to go straight with Arcade and we play Suzuka Short because it's the only course I really know. Uh, And even though it's an arcade game, it does have assist functions, so, you know, I, I could put it on, turn off all the assists I'm not going to, because it's an absolute bitch if you do. Uh, only good driving, racing game people like Ray or Dudley will be able to do, do that. I can't. So we're going to play Novice on a Novice course. Well, unsurprisingly, with a Ferrari, because it's the only car in the game. Now this game is notable because it has absolutely insane music and a DJ called The Voice, Alan J. And the music is like they turned on the ACDC emulator and plugged it into the Ferrari and oh my fucking god I'm... Ugh, I can do better than that. Dudley seen me do better than that. But yeah, this is great. It's really fun. It, it's an arcade racer, but it feels a bit simmy as well, which is is nice. Now, the arcade version was three screens, I believe. Uh, I did play it, and it used to get a, a printout of the telemetry when you finished the race. Um, I want to see if I can dig a copy of that out from somewhere. I've actually no idea where it is. Probably faded because it was printed on like that glossy till paper stuff. I can't remember how many laps this is. Time of Final lap. Oh, there we go. Three laps. There we go. Outbreaks number yellow there. Number yellow? Yellow car? I don't know. But yeah, this is fun. This is like one of those quintessential Dreamcast games. It's just really good fun. And it's simple. It's a simple arcade stroke sim racing, but there's no like career mode or anything complicated. You can just pick it up and have a go. Well, there is a career championship mode, but you know. It's proper Sega old school goodness. There we go, goal, second place. I still apparently have <clears throat> approximately 80% of it, I suppose. And you get a nice replay as well, lovely. 
Right, so next up we have Super Runabout San Francisco Edition. So, yep, new game. Uh, find the driver's license. Yeah, okay, go on then. Since I can fit the whole name in. Good luck. So what's your choice? Scenario A? Scenario B? Bad news has wings. The poor have no leisure. Well, we're going to go with bad news has no wings. I'm going to play them easy because I want to last a while longer. Stop the runaway cable car. The brakes aren't working. And it's running out of control on Hyde Street. Others have gone to collect the bombs. Need bombs to stop a cable car? Can we get to pick a pick a vehicle? Let's go with the cyber hatchback. Why would you not go with the cyber hatchback? Right, there's our runaway cable car. Cyber hatchback is feel oh god it feels really heavy. I did charge the cable car, just ran straight into it. Okay, right, come on then. So I'm getting mixed messages here. Charge the cable car, but I'm damaging my car as well. I mean, either you do, you want me to do this or you don't. I mean, seriously, make your mind up. We'll go and get some bombs. How do we have a reverse button? We do. Okay, right, off we go again. Mm, pick up a cool slide there, that's good. The time limit appears to be a bar rather than an actual time limit, so that doesn't tell me quite much. Oh, it's... There we go. I let it crash into me, that way I'm not culpable for it. The insurance guys come talking. He ran into the back of me. Well, that car's on fire. And I didn't even touch it. Oh, what the way. Cannot run. Okay. Can we get to continue? Right, so I've gone to the other scenario. And apparently I have to collect some bombs. There's six of them, and take them to the bomb disposal unit behind the police station before the time expires. And I've got a few cars, so we're going to go with the sporty number because that's probably a bad idea. And off we go! Right, so there's the first bomb over there, you can see it on the map. Oh god, crashed into something already. No, it wasn't my fault. Look, there's one of the bombs, I believe. Oh yeah, big arrow pointing it out. Looks. Looks like it um, was just stored randomly in a dustbin. Well, we'll work our way to those bombs on the right, well, on the left even. We'll uh, go follow the arrow and go straight to this one up here. Whoa! That was a, a jump. Right, 
Right, and there's a bomb up here. Out the way, white van man. There we go. There's a bomb just around the corner here. Lovely. Bit of a spin around. That's fine. Let's just pull up down here and... Get the bomb that's up here. Come on, camera, move. Thank you. There we go. Sorry, guys. What the hell happened there? No idea what happened there. One left to go and then drop it off at the police station apparently because that's what you do. Here we go. Right now follow the arrow to the police station. Plenty of time to do that by the looks of things. This thing's gonna do anything stupid like crash. There we go, there's the police station there. Lovely. Apparently, I'm not in the right place yet. There we go. Fantastic. Yeah, so, yeah, Super Runabout. That's quite good fun. Hadn't played that before. Um, yeah. Right, so this is Roadsters. Um, one I haven't played. Um, so, let's just go in with a quick race and see what this is like. So, select a driver, Mei Ling, Mr. Slim, oh, is that like that Giga Chad guy? Linda, Billy, is somebody shouting his photo, Raina, Ricky, Angelica, Alex, I'll go back with Mei Ling then. Okay, so Circuit Pleasantville. Chateau, Area 51, Hoover Dam, Rocket Base, Panama Canal, there's quite a lot of uh, things to choose from. Let's go to Area 51 because um, there's going to be UFOs flying over and stuff, I imagine. So cars, now these are licensed cars, so we've got a TVR, a Mine Staff, no idea what that is, uh, an Equinox, what's that? That's a, it's a BMW, isn't it? Or an Alpha, I don't know. I don't know about cars. A Renault, a Lotus, a Toyota MR2. Yes, okay, well, lovely. We're gonna have the MR2 because I like Toyotas. Change the color to a horrible bright yellow. Fantastic. And we're off. And okay, pretty speedy. Oh my lord, that is. God, this steering is a bit mad. So instantly, this reminds me of Porsche Challenge, because of course it does. But do you know what? I thought this was going to be absolutely shit. I mean, it's not. It's not good. Oh, okay. So some barriers I can go through, some I can't. That's a bit annoying. I hate stuff like that. There were some barriers I smashed through a minute ago and I was thinking I was going to get like into a shortcut there. No.
I mean, the handling's a little bit strange. Just, uh, oh, what's that? That was a, a rear view mirror mode. Oh, we have got a, a view change. Okay, cool. No UFOs yet. I'm a bit, bit disappointed by the lack of, uh, lack of UFOs here. Oh no no! Oh, what's going on now? No! Put it in H. No. Okay. No. It started so well. It started so well. This has gone downhill in my estimations. The twitchy controls and seriously having a bit of a bit of the racetrack which is an instant dead end I, I hate that I really hate that especially considering it had mock had bollards to smash through which have literally just smashed through some that are practically identical yeah so we try one of the other courses right we're gonna go for the rocket base track now on the top speed so uh, you can have some really really exotic vehicles like uh, a Velocima Raptor I've never heard of that Lotus 7 ah Lotus 7 currently I like it yellow yes oh that's my car but sir that's my toy it's a Lotus 7 and it's classic I'll get you a new toy when you've done some stuff. Three of my friends had a load of seven. By the end of the day, I'd gone into a tunnel by accident and been smashed off the road by six of them. What happened to the seventh? He died. You're gonna die! Nah, there's only like two people in the world are gonna get that reference. Yeah, it's... Can I go through this tunnel? I mean, this is like a... A shortcut to Sentinel City or something. I have no idea what's going on now. I've lost the rest of the pack. I'm just going to go for a drive in the in the country. Yeah, it's not any better. In fact, I think the frame rate's got slightly worse, and my car just spun out for no reason whatsoever. There. I mean, it's almost like it's pulling me to one side at one at some points. Like then, that seriously, that just seriously just flipped out. I don't know if this, there can't be anything wrong with my pad because I was literally just playing Ferrari F three five five with no problems at all. Yeah, yeah, a little bit broken somehow, but and very underwhelming okay yeah let's move along nothing to see here right so i don't know why i'm doing this to myself uh, shane battens on twitter looked at this a while back and i was felt compelled to see exactly how bad it was so this is the spirit of speed um the spirit being that ethereal thing which has no physical manifestation in real life I can only imagine that uh, it's talking about the spirit of speed because this game has none who knows let's have a look it's definitely not very quick at loading so yeah we're gonna have a quick race because reasons I'm not even gonna change the car okay a few different views none of which are particularly good and we're off what is we reach a an insane speed of 95 miles an hour well I suppose that's fair considering the age of the cars do you know what after playing roasters this handles beautifully really I'm not no, I'm not kidding after playing roasters this handles so much better than roasters didn't appear to be anybody to race against. Maybe I didn't set any bots or anything. Who knows? Oh. 
Why so light? <coughs> oh, yeah. That's a bad spin out. Sure, I mean, to be honest, that sort of spin out with a car of this age, that probably would have ruined it completely. Oh, look, there's another dude. Hello, little dude. Are you enjoying your wind up car? Yeah, me. I'm enjoying mine too. Fun, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, the engine's not that bad either. I mean, the, 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 the ramped corners look nice and, and that. Maybe I misremembered Shane's review. Let's uh, try one of the other tracks, then, shall we? Right, we're off on a race at Monza, and I've oh crap! I'm selecting manual gears. Oh crap! This is not going to go well. And this is a proper race bit, so you've got all your. Uh, temperature and your uh, oil and petrol things and you've got some idiot parked his go-kart in the middle of the road even though this still is handling quite nicely Oh, what the hell? My car caught fire. How do I... What? My car's on fire. I mean, somebody gonna come and put it out? No, that doesn't make a great deal of sense, does it? No, okay, well, there we go. There's a quick go on the spirit of speed. The spirit is there, there's a bit of speed, and the car's on fire. So, there we go, four dream cars racing games. What did you think of them? Comment below. Yeah, subscribe or naff off. My lucky.